Hello, my name is Ann Hanna, and I am a community schools consultant working in the Office of School and Student Support for the Maine Department of Education. I'm here to give you a short presentation about community schools. Why community schools? Well, if students are coming to school hungry, dealing with stress, lacking adequate mental or physical health care, or dealing with other social emotional challenges, it makes it that much harder to focus on academics and learn. Community schools address these barriers and support all students in holistic and integrated ways. A community school is a strategy, not a program. According to the National Coalition of Community Schools, it is both a place and a set of partnerships between the school and other community resources. It is a fundamental rethinking of how to deliver public education in a way that addresses the whole child. A community school is any public school serving pre-kindergarten through high school students using this whole child approach with an integrated focus on academics, health and social services, youth and community development, and community engagement. Far too many communities in Maine continue to face the enduring impacts of generational poverty and systemic racism. Plus, many schools are still recovering from the impact of COVID and the negative effects on student learning could last for years. We have an opportunity to reimagine school in ways that nurture the gifts and talents of every child and family and that leverage community support. This graphic captures the essential components of a community school transformation and is produced by several national organizations in support of the community school movement, including the Learning Policy Institute, the Brookings Institute, the National Center for Community Schools, and the Coalition for Community Schools. Studies in human development tell us that every child can learn and thrive when their full set of needs are met, which is why you see the ultimate purpose of this approach being featured at the center of the graphic with the statement, all students flourish in thriving school communities, and the outer rings that surround the center show the supportive infrastructure that is needed to make this possible. There are approximately 10,000 schools across the country today who have adopted community school strategies as a reform strategy. In Maine, the community school approach was first recognized by Maine legislature in 2015 through the passing of Public Law 20 AMRSA and Chapter 333. Under this statute, a school board may designate an existing school or establish a new school as a community school. Currently, there are three schools in Maine who are implementing community school strategies with some funding provided through the Department of Education, Old Town Elementary School, the Cape Cod Hill School in New Sharon, and Talbot Community School in Portland. Many schools in Maine have the words community school in their title, but may not be implementing intentional community school strategies. My position for the Department of Education is to promote awareness of the power of community schools and to provide support and technical assistance to schools and communities who are interested in adopting the community school model. <clears throat> community schools are meant to serve the unique needs of students, families, and communities. While there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution or single way to address needs, community schools do share common features that support student learning and are anchored in the four established pillars of the community school movement. Statute 333 aligns with and supports the four pillars that you can see here. The first pillar is integrated student supports, which are needed to address the out-of-school barriers to learning that often stem from poverty and racism, and to support student success by providing coordinated social services through practices such as school-based health centers, vision, nutrition and dental care, counseling, and restorative justice. The coordination and integration of services with support from community-based partnerships helps to ensure that children have the physical, social, and emotional well-being to come to school ready to learn. The second pillar is expanded and enriched learning time and opportunities, which includes before and after school programming, weekend and summer programs, tutoring, internships, mentoring, and other enrichment supports beyond school hours. 
This could include opportunities for students to participate in yoga classes, comic book clubs, art or STEM activities with access provided for all students by providing transportation and at a reduced or no cost to students and families. The third pillar is family and community engagement, which involves actively including family and community members to serve as true partners in supporting and educating students. Opportunities for family member collaboration include home visits, theme nights, homework diners, parent academies, play and learns, adult education, workforce development, and English as a second language classes. The sky is the limit. The fourth pillar is collaborative leadership practices that establish a culture of professional learning, collective trust, shared decision making, and shared responsibility for outcomes in a manner that includes students, families, and community members. Parents and community members are viewed as assets in the work of the school and become partners in making decisions about the school and the children's education. It's important to keep in mind that while each of the four pillars contribute to a high quality educational environment, the pillars reinforce each other. And it is this synergy that defines the essence of a comprehensive community school. Many schools may have services in these four areas, but have no plan for how to integrate those services to achieve specific results. It's the integration, coordination, and alignment that is key to making a school a community school. Well, do community schools work? In the report, Making the Difference, Research and Practice in Community Schools, evaluators of 20 initiatives nationwide confirm that community schools have a positive impact on what matters most to students, parents, communities, and schools. Evidence shows that schools that implement strategies across the four pillars show improvements in academic performance and also school climate, student behavior, family engagement, chronic absenteeism, graduation, graduation rates, and other indicators of academic success. In addition to the four pillars, community schools are guided by a set of core principles and enabling conditions that are known to support successful implementation, which includes strong school leadership with a clear instructional vision and high expectations for all students. Strong instruction designed to provide quality learning opportunities to increase all students' academic achievement. A commitment to building trusting relationships and an inclusive decision-making that is assets-driven and strengths-based. And a commitment to addressing social and emotional obstacles to learning by putting in place strong social-emotional learning practices that are trauma-informed and promote skills, habits, and mindsets that foster a culture of belonging, safety, and care. You may be wondering how all this can possibly happen in a school. Principals and teachers are very busy people with a lot on their plates. Well, the community school infrastructure enables the coordination and integration of the strategies because of the very important role of a community school coordinator. The CSC facilitates the development and implementation of the strategic plan in collaboration with school and community members and partners. The CSC ensures that programs, services, and supports are aligned, coordinated, and integrated with the core instructional program to avoid duplication or fragmentation of services and supports. The CSC's work focuses on managing the integration of before and after school programs, family engagement opportunities, and the integrated student support services in alignment with the school with the community school's vision of success and results. The coordinator is the glue and the anchor for the community school. They have strong relationships with school staff, parents, administrators, and the community. Chapter 333 guides schools in Maine through a process of adopting a community school approach and includes a set of proven practices that all Maine community schools should implement when becoming a community school. In addition to hiring a community school coordinator, schools should conduct a community needs and assets assessment to identify the academic, physical, social, and emotional health, mental health needs of students and their families. This process allows for school and community members to identify gaps in programs, services, and resources that inhibit student achievement and community coherence. 
Schools should also conduct a community resource inventory to identify potential resources, services, and opportunities available within or near the community that students, families, and community members may access and integrate into the community school. Schools should convene an advisory team to guide implementation of, and focus on reviewing data to monitor continuous improvement and adjust the course as needed. And schools need to create a strategic plan that incorporates the school's vision, values, and mission and articulates how assets may be used to address the identified needs with the goal of high academic and personal outcome for all students. Students can only do their best in schools if they have the support for their basic needs. Community schools make it possible for families to access vital services that students need to thrive academically. Often such services and supports are not located nearby or they are financially out of reach for many. Community schools recognize these challenges and provide a coordinated close to home solution that minimizes disruptions to important class time and helps students to attend school and be ready to learn, setting them up for academic and life success. In the era of tight resources, community schools are a good investment. Research from the Children's Aid Society has shown that every dollar invested in student supports in a community school yields a $15 return on the investment to the community. Another study done in Albuquerque found that every dollar invested to support the salary of a community school coordinator generated over $7 in net benefits. The community school strategy is an efficient and cost-effective way to maximize multiple resources and funding streams to transform a school into a hub where educators, local community members, families, and students work together to strengthen conditions for student success. For more information about community schools, please feel free to reach out to me, Ann Hanna, at ann.c.hanna at maine.gov. Thanks for listening.